There's lots of ways to mic up a goalie. I'm gonna show you mine coming up next. Hey everyone, Mike the Oldish Goalie here to talk to you about On Ice Audio. Hey, if this goes to a shootout, I think I got it. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> now if you find this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button. That's gonna help me know if I'm making videos that you guys actually wanna watch. Was that the nuts? Yeah, that would make a great clip. Oh yeah. So when it comes to capturing games, I have two principles that I operate under. The first is set it and forget it. The worst thing I can think of is letting in a goal because I was distracted by my video gear. So I'm willing to put in whatever time it takes to get all my gear up and running with plenty of time to get dressed, stretch, and get warmed up before the puck drops. The second is redundancy. The next worst thing to me is losing footage, or in the case of this video, losing audio. Now, all my cameras have mics, but because of where they are, the audio isn't always that great. So for picking up my voice, I have my helmet cam as backup audio, and I have a Sony voice recorder that I tuck into my chest protector. Here's how I secure it. First, I've added this piece of elastic from the bootstraps I stopped using as a spot for the clip mic to live. I cut a slit into the strap so the clip can go through and stay extremely secure. Next, I tie the mic wire around a nearby strap so if any part of the wire gets tugged, the strength of the wire takes the force, not the fragile connections. Then the wire gets ran to this area between the front and the side. Now, I wear a warrior chest protector and I know not all chesties have velcro side flaps like this, but you could get creative with sewing a pocket in on the inside if you had to. Here I do something similar to the other end and wrap the excess wire around this strap. Then all I do is connect the mic, start recording. I put the recorder on hold to avoid any accidental button pushes, slip it into this small Ziploc baggie, and close the flap. It's that easy. Now when I first started wearing a mic this way, I assumed I'd be replacing clip mics often because of where it's sitting. But this is the same mic from that first time. Uh, I've yet to break one. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you guys do something similar, or better yet, if you do something totally different and easier. I'd love to know how you guys get mic'd up. That's gonna do it for this one. Everybody stay safe. Let's all be good teammates in this life, and I'll see you on the ice.